hi guys welcome and welcome back to the channel so <laughs> i'm here to introduce this video we'll be doing some cooking prepare breakfast cleaning here and there and yes cook some puff puff uh the dry puff puff now um <laughs> i'm also here to welcome all the new subscribers who have joined the family thank you so much guys for choosing to join this family asante nisana and to my returning fam, thank you. Thank you so much. I can only say thank you. Asante Nisana. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. So if you've not subscribed to the channel, kindly, kindly consider subscribing. Also, I've met two of my subscribers. So the first lady I met when we were doing house hunting, and she said hi, but we didn't get to talk. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. And then... um yesterday in westlands i also met a pretty lady and we talked but but <laughs> i know it's awkward but i didn't get her name so since she watches my content my channel kindly 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 leave me a comment on the comment section and i'll make sure to give you a shout out on my next video so Thank you so much guys thank you so much and if you if you see me like just say hi we'll talk i'm not i'm bad <laughs> just say hi we'll talk chit chat and asante nisana guys i'm grateful i'm so so much grateful i'm i'm grateful guys i'm really grateful because this has been an amazing journey and we are we are on the road to 2000 subscribers and the amazing love the amazing support now Penda to Sana. So please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Yeah, I'm close to the road. So please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, kindly consider hitting the subscribe button and I'll really, really appreciate it. Also, don't skip the ads. Don't skip the ads. We've come a long way, guys. So if you can, kindly, kindly watch the ads and i'll i'll really appreciate it we also have a thanks um there's a thanks option i'll put a screen here on how you can support my channel so i'll also appreciate that so yeah i'll just show you guys somewhere happy we on yeah that small option that's on this video or any other video so thank you so much guys feel blessed and Hope you enjoy this video. Leave me a comment also of the kind of content you'd want me to drop on this channel. So there is something that I stopped doing. I stopped sharing on my single parenting um, sit down videos and I'll come and explain why on maybe one of a sit down video. But thank you so much guys. Now Penda to Sana and enjoy the video. To be happy how many times do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance to meet someone before you get to meet someone like you how many songs can you write about heartbreak how to go when you're fed up with mistakes maybe i just found the answers maybe i just found the answers in you hi guys welcome and welcome back to the channel so um hmm, so this is what happened i want to make dry puff puff and when i put in the flour on the on my basin i discovered i didn't have nutmeg so i decided to start with cleaning the little dishes on the sink so that i can also have a clean working space as my daughter gets me some nutmeg so we will be cooking or 
preparing some dry puff puff and do quite a number of uh, tasks here and there so kindly tag along if you're new here karibu sana kindly give this video a thumbs up let's get it to 150 thumbs up kindly kindly like the video subscribe if you're new here and if you love the kind of content that i am sharing so if you're new here my, my name is jen like i introduced myself in the beginning of the video i am a single mom of two and on this channel i share a lot of homemaking videos i share hauls cleaning motivational videos we also cook i love trying out recipes and uh, i also share my single parenting journey so if that is the kind of content you love kindly consider subscribing to the channel and let's grow together so here i'm trying to store uh, the smokies and the sausages so this is how i store them and it really makes it easier when it comes to preparing breakfast in the morning because you don't have to throw a whole pack so you only throw a set like they you'll see how i'll put them together so that make it makes it really easy to prep so i'll be doing the same and i'll be multitasking a lot so you'll be in a position to see that so kindly tag along and let me know what you think about this video if you if there's something you'd want me to share on my channel kindly let me know let me know what you'd love to watch here and trust me we'll work our way around it so thank you so much guys for stopping by and uh, yeah, let's tag along. got you we don't have to stay we can do what we want to just give a little bit of your heart give a little bit of your heart to me all the most scars start to heal when i'm with you and i can't explain how i feel when i'm with you just give a little bit of your heart give a little bit of your heart to me So these are my ingredients and I'll not be using the measuring spoons a lot. So I have sugar, I have nutmeg, I have two eggs, I have instant yeast, I have some salt, I have some milk and I actually wanted to add vanilla essence but I noticed that was chocolate essence. I honestly don't even remember picking it and of course to 10. So these were my ingredients for the puff puff and uh, i also picked uh, the prestige now i hope you understand when i was doing the whole and said i don't like the vanilla essence uh prestige especially when it comes to baking because i sometimes forget to buy the original one but now that i've learned i'll be buying them separately because i love the original one for baking and preparing pastries so let's let's do this guys so I prefer adding the vanilla essence on its own rather than having to add vanilla essence and then add the prestige that has vanilla essence. It makes the concentration or the taste in a kwa mob sana. So that's what I basically mean. Okay, 
if I got you, we don't have to stay. We can do what we want to. Baby, I just found the answers. Baby, I just found the answers in you. So I at first thought that we were going to have the puff puff for breakfast, but I realized it'll take time. So after making the dough and leaving it to rest, we'll be preparing uh, some breakfast for myself and the kids. So you'll see that as well.
going to have uh, some sausages and tea for breakfast as I get to prepare the puff puff because they also took some time because I had to let the dough rest like twice so we'll be preparing the sausages and the tea and uh, yeah do some cleaning as we go so I really love doing this because I get to clear everything on the sink so I have a tendency of cleaning as I go and again, at this point, I have to be very careful because I have to You know, with tea, the moment you look away, that's when it messes you up. So, yeah. Did you guys see that? The moment you turn around is when the tea boils. That's what happens. Anyway, um, for the sausages, I was prepping them on low heat. And uh, yeah, our breakfast is basically ready. I'm still cleaning as I go, as you can see. Now, I'm sure there's something some of you have noticed, if not everyone. This uh, sink has no water. So... It's supposed to be um, in a steady kwamajia kanjo. But because of the pressure, it doesn't get to the floor that I am in. So I really have trouble with water in the sink. And I've been having this issue since we moved in. However, as I'm shooting this video, the issue is being fixed tomorrow. So uh, they found a solution because I don't think... I would have been comfortable staying in a house that has water issues because the issue is just, it's not like the whole flat has water issues. I think it was an issue with the piping uh, for this house and houses below us. So that will be fixed and I'm hoping the next video that I do in my kitchen, you guys will see water flowing from that sink. So yeah. So thank you so much guys for watching until this far and if you're enjoying this video kindly give it a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate. So at this point I'm done preparing breakfast for the kids. So we'll have breakfast and then now prepare the puff puff. And another thing you guys will notice is we'll also be preparing lunch because um by the time I was prepping uh the puff puff it was already lunch time but we had it we had them at 4 as a snack. So yeah. I look at you. You make me blind. Why do you have to be so beautiful all the time? I know I can't be with you. 
So what I will be doing, I will be making small, small balls. But on my side, I discovered that I really made, the, yeah, they look small, but they, they were not small. So one thing I've noticed that the next time I make them, because I'll be definitely making them again, I'll uh, make smaller balls than what you guys are seeing. And if you tend to try this recipe, please, please make sure that uh, the balls are really, really small. And another thing I also discovered about the dough, I think I made the dough slightly ngumu kidogo. So you can try and make it slightly softer instead of it being uh, tough. So I try recipes. I try new recipes or recipes I learned somewhere. So, yeah. So you can just try and uh, make smaller balls than the ones I'm making and make the dough slightly softer. So this is what I'll be doing for the whole dough. Or I'll make small balls from the whole dough and then I'll let it rest again for, let's say, let's say two hours because... I didn't even measure like you guys, so I was not so keen using my measuring cups. And this video I shot uh, before I made the bread. So after I made this one is when I realized uh, I really need to use the measuring cups. So trust me from here henceforth, I'll try my best to use the measuring cups. So yeah. What to do? Now I'm in the corner and watching you smile watching you smile and i can't get over you i'm losing my mind all of the things that i wish i could tell you every time when you pass me by i fall in love there's something about you i wish you were mine So uh, look at them, guys. Look at them. At this point, they were already, they had already doubled in size. And you can see our lunch in Aiva Hapo. Look at how big they turned out. But now I decided not to reduce the size because I had that option and just prep them as they are. So, yeah. So another thing, I'll use low heat. Low heat, guys. Low heat. Until they, they cook slowly <laughs> if i'm making sense so prep them in on low heat or yeah on low heat so that's pilau getting ready there because that's what you are having for lunch so meanwhile let's focus on the puff puff
something about you. I wish you were mine. So this is the first batch and look how pretty they are. Look how pretty and gorgeous they are. So at this point I could tell they are ready because you can you can see on the other side, uh, in the middle part it's like they they were just turning a little bit more brown but this is the brown i was going for and this is the brown that i wanted because still you could tell that they are ready so i should have let the cooking oil cool down kidogo and then add the second batch but i reduced the heat later on so we'll prepare all the puff puff and then i'll show you guys the end results so yeah to your heartache if you want to open your door mm. i'm feeling kind of lost when your mind is hiding whatever that is choking your chest i can see it in your eyes that you're shaking because you're holding it guys look how gorgeous and beautiful they look and they were perfect <laughs> so for the last batch i almost burnt them but they added a, uh i added uh the heat or i turned up, turned up the heat but yay they turned so good they were so yummy because i prepared them on low heat so they were so yummy and this you can have for breakfast and you can also have as a snack they were so so delicious so that will be it for today's video thank you so much guys for watching until this fine for joining me see you on the next one